we travel from Williamstown with its Fish Creek, north on Route 13 to Altmar and the Salmon River. The Salmon River Fish Hatchery releases more than 1 million pounds of fish to more than 1,200 public streams, rivers, lakes, and ponds. Currently on site is the Auto Fish System, a state-of-the-art mobile trailer using advanced technology to sort and mark fish. With spring break coming, many families are planning to go fishing. Whether you are among them or not, you may want to pack up the car, bring the kids out here to the Salmon River Fish Hatchery because they are going to see a few salmon here. As a matter of fact, they will see 1.5 million salmon. Fish Hatchery here is to stock uh, Lake Ontario and uh, Lake Erie with uh, uh, steelhead trout, Chinook salmon, coho salmon, uh, and brown trout. A lot of the steelhead and, and salmon go into tributaries as well. The Auto Fish Trailer is uh, here to mark and tag most of the uh, Chinook salmon that we're putting in the lake. Um, it's uh, to study stocking methods uh, at various locations across the lake. Through, through marking the fish and tagging the fish, we can get estimates of survival, uh, estimates of uh, um, wild fish, the wild uh, contribution to the lake fishery. We, it helps us to uh, manage the lake and uh, the, uh, the salmon resources in it. Oh, uh, it's a lifelong uh, uh, pursuit of mine. Um, from before I went in, you know, from high school days, I was uh, interested in hunting and fishing, and uh, it just, uh, um, my, my career path was set a long time ago. <laughs> I just love it. As you know, I'm a big fan of picnicking. When you bring your family here for a picnic, you're gonna have this beautiful surrounding. I'd recommend just one thing, though. Don't bring any fish sandwiches with you. The Salmon River Fish Hatchery is open daily from 8.30 to 3.30 for self-guided tours. It is handicap accessible and visitors can observe what happens inside a working fish hatchery. Oswego County has an abundance of fishing opportunities and attracts fishermen from all over the Northeast. Visit our website for information on fishing sites. We head back to Williamstown and into the countryside to Cranberry Ridge Farm to welcome a new family to the area. The Shawls recently moved their farm from Alaska to upstate New York. They believe in the importance of working close with the land and they also enjoy the fruits of their labor, the freshest food around. We started farming, I've, I've been interested in farming for a very long time and my first experience kind of on my own with the farming was in Michigan um, before I met my husband and then I met my husband at the farm and we got married and he said let's go to Alaska because that's where I'm from and so we moved to Alaska and began Cranberry Ridge Farm and in Alaska we developed um, our goat cheese we built a facility um, the first one in Alaska and we made and sold raw aged uh, cheese goat cheese but there wasn't enough market in Alaska. And so we decided to move somewhere where people did this all the time, where there was a big market, where we could find a farm, you know, instead of just 10 acres on the side of a hill. <laughs> and so we're here. Well, we hope to have some goat cheese, some cow cheese, and some mixed cheeses, um, some mold ripened cheeses, and some hard aged raw milk cheeses, kind of European style. Um, natural rinds, you know, lots of flavor. Well, we have a large family. We have four children, Nathaniel, who is nine, and Benjamin, who is seven, Hadassah, who is five, and Levi, who is two, and they help with the chores. We live here with uh, Matt's parents, Dan and Rita, and they help us greatly. If it wasn't for them, we probably wouldn't make it. <laughs> if I could turn the clock back and have a different profession, I think after seeing this today that this might be what I would like to do and in addition to the farm and everything connected with it I also found out that the Shawls do something else very very important they homeschool their children right here sit in front and you just and you go like this and then you squeeze the rest with the rest of your fingers so you grab you squeeze off and then you oh. <laughs> Rhonda has perfected the art of cheese making 
and their award-winning raw goat milk cheese should be available at local farmers markets and stores this fall. Visit MohawkValleyLiving.com for more information about Cranberry Ridge Farm. Life is never what we bargain for. We have to take the good with the bad. So why keep your memory beside me and remember the good times we had? I know that heaven gained a good man the day that we enjoyed our sweet, creamy goat milk appetizers and now head south to Westdale for lunch. The new West Camden Country Store is located in an old church. It offers travelers homemade breakfast and lunch, fresh Green Mountain coffee, and home-baked desserts. Um, it was the original church. It was built in the 1800s, and it, there was a fire, and it was rebuilt back in the 1900s, early 1900s. See, my brother Dan Christmas actually had his office here, uh, Christmas and Associates Land Office. So they decided to move into town to be more local and um, this sat empty for about a year and I relocated back to the area and we decided to open the store together. The West Camden Country Store may be, in Patty's words, out in the middle of nowhere, but I'll tell you this much. You come here for breakfast or lunch, you're going to be treated to some mighty fine uh, home cooking and before you leave you can pick up some things to take home to cook yourself. For example, elk bratwurst or the specialty here, wild boar loin chops and many other wild game meats. Take a road trip and do some fishing in the Altmar Williamstown area. Explore the country roads and marvel at the Great Case Stone Wall. You can find information and links on our website, mohawkvalleyliving.com. We can see.